What's up everyone, I'm back and we're going to be making an ability in Roblox Studio Part 2. So the next part, I decided we should make a UI so you know what you're doing. So basically, I made a model, it's going to be in the link in the description. And also make sure you watch the first video. And yeah, let's just get into it. So the Rock Magic um, tool, we're going to put um, the, the script from the model. It's called Input UI and then there's a thing in here. So this is the code. And basically, um, we're going to get our rock UI and put in start UI. Now, this one is from another project I made. I just inputted it here. But we're going to delete. These two are going to be deleted. The main, the only thing we're going to have right now is rock throw. And there's also going to be a Q. So, what you should see is like Q, rock. This is what you should see. So, this is basically what we have so far. You can customize this as much as you want, and when you add new moves, you're gonna want to also do that. You're gonna want to, you're gonna want to add the abilities, like not the abilities, like when you made a new ability, put it on here, so you know. Okay, so when this input will make that move, and when you don't put in the input UI, and now when we play, we get, and we equip our little tool. It rock magic appears. And there you go. And this is a pretty short video, but another thing I need to sh I want to show you guys is like um what is it? Um a cooldown. Like it says on we're going to make it saying on cooldown. So when our ability is on cooldown, this thing will tell you it. But when it's not, it will say it's not on cooldown. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So first we're going to make sure so it says we're going to put it into player UI. So that means we're going to get our script into the player UI. So I'm going to um, go to our server script server. Hmm. I feel like we should probably do it here. So we're going to go to player dot player GUI dot um, find first child. We're going to put it in these name tags rock ui or whatever the name of the ui is so we'll say local ui equals and then here now we'll say ui dot what is it called all right frame so frame dot dot q so Local Q equals and UA dot front UI dot frame dot Q and then we'll say and then in this attacking goes true we'll say Q wait Q in the capital Q equals Q dot and then where does it say text text equals and then just put in brackets to say on hold hold down. And then here we'll copy this and put it right here, and we'll and see this. So in the property, just play paste it. So it should. So if this works, when you use it, it will say on cooldown, on cooldown, on cooldown. So basically now it shows that your ability is on cooldown. This is really good because when you're like fighting an enemy, you don't want to die. It's good to know that they're on cooldown. So basically guys, um, that's how you make a GUI and how to make it say that your ability is on cooldown. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye.